Noah Lyles Oly, born July 18, 1997, is an American professional track and field sprinter who competes in the 60 meters, 100 meters, and 200 meters. His personal best of 19.31 seconds in the 200m is the American record and makes him the third fastest of all time in the event. In the 200m, Lyles is the 2020 Olympic bronze medalist. A three-time world champion in the event, he is also a six-time world champion overall, winning the 200m and 4x100m in 2019, the 200m in 2022, and the 100m, 200m, and 4x100m events in 2023. His achievements in 2023 made him the first man to complete the sprint treble at a world championships since Usain Bolt in 2015. Lyles won a gold medal in the 200m during the 2014 Youth Olympic Games. He won gold medals for the 100m and 4x100m relay during the 2016 World U20 Championships. He won a gold medal at the 2024 Paris Olympics, winning the 100m in a closely contested race. Early Life Lyles was born on July 18, 1997, to Keisha Kane and Kevin Lyles, in Gainesville, Florida. The three, along with Noah's younger brother, Josephus, eventually relocated to Alexandria, Virginia. Originally gymnasts, Lyles and his brother's aspirations turned to track after watching the 2012 Summer Olympics on TV. His parents Keisha Bishop and Kevin Lyles competed in track and field at Seton Hall University. Lyles and his brother attended T. C. Williams High School, now Alexandria City High School. Early Career Lyles represented the United States at the 2014 Youth Olympic Games, where he won a gold medal in the 200M. In January 2015, Lyles cleared 2.03M, 6 feet 7 plus 3 quarters in, in the high jump as a high school junior. In November 2015, he was named 2015 High School Boys Athlete of the Year by Track and Field News. In March 2016, Lyles won the 200M at the New Balance Nationals Indoor. In April 2016, he won both the 100M and 200M at the 2016 Arcadia Invitational, setting new meeting records of 10.17S and 20.48S respectively. Did I in June 2016, Lyles won the 100M in 10.08S at the USA Junior Championships. In July 2016, Lyles went to the U.S. Olympic Trials to compete for spots on the Olympic team in the 100M and the 200M. He failed to advance from his first 100M heat, but in the 200M he won his semi-final and then placed fourth in the final with a time of 20.09s, breaking a 31-year-old national high school record. Though he didn't qualify for the 2016 Summer Olympics, he qualified for the 2016 World U20 Championships where he was a double gold medalist, taking the 100M and 4x100M relay titles. Professional Lyles had committed to compete for the Florida Gators at the University of Florida, but in July 2016, Noah and his younger brother Josephus instead turned professional and signed with Adidas. In November 2016, Lyles was again named High School Boys Athlete of the Year for 2016 by Track and Field News. Lyles started 2017 with his first senior national title in the 300M at the 2017 USA Indoor Championships in the thin air of Albuquerque, New Mexico improving the indoor world record by one hundredth of a second to 31.87s he earned a silver medal in the 4 times 200 meter relay with Team USA at the 2017 World Relays. Lyles won two meets in the 2017 IAAF Diamond League circuit, winning the final ahead of American champion Amir Webb and world champion Ramel Gileev. However, injuries prevented him from competing much of the season and he missed the 2017 World Championships as a result. 2018. Lyles at the 2018 USATF Championships. Lyles returned to Albuquerque to compete at the 2018 USA Indoor Championships, but in the 60-meter dash instead of the 300M. He made it through his first heat while equaling his personal best time of 6.57S, but failed to advance through his semi-final. Having failed to make the national team for the 2018 World Indoor Championships, he turned his focus to preparing for the outdoor season. He opened with a win in the 200M at the IAAF Diamond League Doha meet, setting a new personal best with a time of 19.83s. 
A few weeks later, he ran the less common 150M at the Adidas Boston Games, winning in a personal best time of 14.77S did he return to the 200M at the IAAF Diamond League in Eugene, winning and improving his personal best time to 19.69S. This time matched the world-leading time set by Clarence Munyai earlier that year. At the 2018 USA Championships, he focused on the 100M instead, matching the world lead of 9.89S in the semifinal. Mike Rogers had set the world lead a day before in a separate heat, but he did not start in the semifinals. This left Lyle's primary rival to be Ronnie Baker, who had run the 100M in 9.78S at the Prefontaine Classic earlier that year, but with a wind velocity just over the allowable limit for record purposes, plus 2.4 meters per second, dot in the final Baker got out a few meters ahead of Lyle's out of the blocks, but Lyle started to come back halfway through the race and just passed Baker in the last meter to win in 9.88S, a new world lead and personal best time for Lyle's, he became the youngest U.S. champion in the 100M since Sam Grady won in 1984. Lyle's world lead in the 100M would later be beaten by Baker, 9.87S, and then Christian Coleman, 9.79S, but at the Hercules IAAF Diamond League meet in Monaco Lyle's set a new 200M world lead and personal best time in 19.65S. The time placed him in the top 10 fastest men in the 200M of all time, before that Lyles equaled his personal best and world lead at the Athletissima IAAF Diamond League meet to win a greatly anticipated showdown against Michael Norman, who had set the indoor world record in the 400-meter dash earlier that year Lyles went into the IAAF Diamond League final, the world-class Zurich, as the favorite. He was again matched up against world champion Ramel Gilev, who recently also became European champion, setting a personal best of 19.76s in the process. The two were placed in adjacent lanes and ran evenly through the bend, but Lyle started to pull away on the straight and finished in 19.67s. It was his fourth time under 19.70s in the same season. Only one other individual has been under 19.70s for times in a career, world record holder Usain Bolt who also did it four times during his record-breaking 2009 season. 2019 In 2019, Lyles opened the season by running 100 meters races, running a 9.86, plus 0.9, world leader in Shanghai on May 18. In his first 200-meter race, at the Pietro Menia Golden Gala meet, he equaled Menia's long-standing 1979 world record time running a 19.72, plus 0.7. A month later at Athletissima in Lausanne, he dropped his personal best to 19.50, minus 0.1, to move into the number 4 position on the all-time list. A week later he ran a 9.92, plus 0.3, 100 in Monaco. With the extended schedule in 2019, he ran the U.S. National Championships at the end of July, taking the 200-meter title in 19.78, minus 0.7, into a headwind in Des Moines. Then in Paris, he ran 19.65, plus 0.2. Noah Lyles, R., en route to the 200M victory at Doha 2019. Lyles won gold medals in the 200M and the 4x100M relay at the 2019 World Athletics Championships held in Doha, Qatar. COVID and 2021 Due to the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, the Tokyo Olympics were postponed to 2021 and nearly all track competitions were cancelled. Lyles managed to compete at a scant few competitions, including one in which he apparently broke the 200-meter world record in 18.90 seconds before it was later found that he accidentally started 15 meters ahead. Both the pandemic and the ongoing George Floyd protests took a heavy toll on Lyles, as he became reliant on depression medication that caused him to lose weight. With competition returning in 2021, Lyles refocused on the postponed Tokyo Olympics, intending to win the 100-meter, 200-m and 4-by-100-meter relay triple. However, his season was marked by injuries and continued mental health struggles from the pandemic. Lyles claimed he was three weeks behind on training by the time the Olympic trials came around. There, he finished 7th in the 100M and lost his 200M heat and semi-final to rising teenager Arianne Knighton. However, Lyles managed to win the final in a world-leading time of 19.74 seconds, putting him back in as a favorite for the Olympic title. At the Olympics, Lyles overconfidently slowed down in his semi-final, allowing Aaron Brown and Joseph Fonbula to pass him. 
Lyles managed to get through as a fastest loser, and despite leading off the turn in the final, he was forced to settle for bronze as André de Grasse and Bednarik passed him. Following the race, Lyles opened up about his mental health struggles leading up to the Games in interviews. Two weeks after his disappointing Olympic performance, Lyles won the Prefontaine Classic in a world-leading 19.52 seconds before ending his season to focus on the upcoming World Championships. 2022 to present On July 21, 2022, during the World Athletics Championships on home soil in Eugene, Oregon, Lyles claimed his second global title in the 200M and surpassed Michael Johnson's long-standing national record of 19.32 by running 19.31 which moved him to third on the world all-time list. He capped his fine season in the Zurich Diamond League final with victory in 200M, securing his fourth diamond trophy over the distance and fifth overall. Lyles was undefeated in his specialist event that year, breaking 20 seconds in all 12 of his races, including heats and finals. On August 20, 2023, during the World Athletics Championships held in Budapest, Lyles won gold in the 100 meter and setting a personal best in the final of 9.83. On August 25, 2023, Lyles won a gold medal at the 2023 World Athletics Championships in the 200-meter men's final with the time 19.52. This is his third gold medal in the 200M and fifth gold medal overall in the World Athletics Championships. With his three 200M gold medals in the World Athletics Championships, he surpasses Michael Johnson, too, and Calvin Smith, too, and this places him to second on the world all-time list at 200 meters at the World Athletics Championships, only behind Usain Bolt with four gold medals. Lyle set a new 100M personal best time of 9.81 at the Diamond League meeting in London, England, on 20 July 2024. Lyles won the 100-meter gold medal at the 2024 Olympics by 0.005 seconds over Jamaica's Kishane Thompson, lowering his personal best to 9.78.